Hey guys, it's Jenny with Solid Gold. In this video, I'm going to explain how to tell the difference between male and female goldfish. Now, there are a few different indicators you can use, but taken individually, each one can be a little bit unreliable, so it's actually best to consider several different indicators as a whole to determine the sex of your fish. And of course, the most reliable way to tell is if you actually observe spawning behavior. So the first indicator would be breeding stars or breeding tubercles, and these are just little white nodules that appear on the rays of the pectoral fins, also on the operculum and all over the face sometimes, and sometimes even on the scales on the body of the fish. And normally these occur only on male fish, but in some rare instances they also occur on female fish. Generally though, if I see a fish with breeding stars, I assume it's a male just because it's so rare that they would be present on a female. And I actually have a whole video that explains breeding stars more in depth, like what they are for, um, what they are, stuff like that. So if you want to watch that and learn more, there's a link right here so you can go ahead and click on that and that will bring you to that video. The second indicator you can use is vent shape. Now normally males have a more narrow elongated vent whereas females will have a rounder vent. And also males tend to have an any or a concave vent, whereas females will have an outy or convex vent. And usually you can see the female vent inside view, like if you were looking through the side of your aquarium, you'd be able to see it sticking out. And then probably the least reliable way to determine sex of a goldfish, just because their body shapes are so um, modified to begin with, is body shape. Usually with fish, females will be a little bit wider and more round and they'll have a deeper body. Uh, but for goldfish, it's, this is not very reliable because goldfish in general, especially fancies, tend to have round, deep bodies anyways. Uh, but if you're comparing a male and female of the same variety and the same age and the same feeding schedule and things like that, then usually the female will be a little bit more round and deep in her body. And also if you look down at them, so if you're looking at a top view of the female, she'll sometimes look asymmetric in her belly. And then also males tend to have a thicker leading ray of their pectoral fins. And then finally you can observe their behavior as well. In the few weeks leading up to spawning, the males will start following or chasing the females around and they'll usually stay just behind and below the female as they're chasing them. When spawning gets closer and closer, they'll start chasing more actively and then when they actually do spawn, the males will chase and kind of push the females into some soft plants where she will lay the eggs and then the male will fertilize them. So obviously that is the most reliable way to determine their sex. So I hope that helps you guys and please check out the links in my description section of this video if you want more information about this topic and also feel free to head on over to my Facebook page for daily updates about my fish and what's going on uh, with me and my fish stuff. And thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.